everyone, welcome back to Joan Day. In today's episode, I'm going to sit here and share with you guys 20 of my favorite beauty products in the year 2020. And yes, I'm gonna try to do this in 20 minutes and 20 seconds, so let's get started. We're gonna start with skincare, and usually I start with an oil-based cleanser, but because I barely wore makeup this year because of the masks, I rarely used it. So we're gonna start with the Good Skin Days, a new leaf cream cleanser. This is a water-based cleanser, which basically means it is step two for your double cleanse. And I personally love it because it's a creamy foam cleanser. It doesn't feel as drying and there's also mugwort leaves inside it. So the crushed mugwort is supposed to help gently exfoliate your skin as well. This is packed with antioxidants, mugwort, as mentioned, celery and green tea. It kind of sounds like a healthy green juice, but basically together it's supposed to help soothe the skin and cleanse the skin. Kind of like what a juice cleanse would do for your body, but for your skin. It's non-stripping, it cleanses the skin, it feels very refreshing afterwards, and yeah, I think it's a great cleanser for people who have dry and acne-prone skin like me, and it's also very affordable. We have another cleanser, and this is the one I used when I wore makeup, and this is Fenty Skin's Total Cleanser. And Fenty Skin is Rihanna's skincare line, and I really liked her first launch because um, they were very convenient to use. They were all two-in-one products, so for this one right here, it's a makeup remover and cleanser. There are some products like this already in Korea, but I do respect this innovative introduction to cleansing, and Rihanna did mention that Washing your face is the most important for good skin, and I totally agree with that. Um, and yeah, so I really like this cleanser. It is packed with antioxidants like Barbados Cherry, and I love how it doesn't strip my skin. A quick how-to on the Total Cleanser. The technique is a little different when you use it as a makeup cleanser. Squeeze some of it out. I have about this much on my palm and I'm very generous when it comes to cleansers because I really want to remove that makeup. And while learning about skincare, I learned that it's important to get that full cleanse in order to have better skin because you're sleeping with all that excess oil and makeup and you want to remove it. So I like to lather it on my hands like this and then massage it onto my skin. Once you finish rubbing it all onto your skin, it's time to emulsify. Wet hands, and then it foams up. I personally like to massage for about 45 seconds to a minute. So once you're done, you cleanse. I already did a full review on Fenty Skin, so if you want the details, I'll link the video in the description box. Next, I have Sarwasu's First Care Activating Serum, and this is the essential first step that will prep your skin for the other skincare products. It keeps my skin hydrated, moisturized, and looking very healthy. Now, I have talked about this product before in A Best of Beauty, but this year is a bit more special because Sarwasu is now available at Sephora, and my videos are the official tutorials that are being played on the website. Sephora.com and this is such a big deal for me because the very first product that I ever splurged on when I moved to Korea is the First Care Activating Serum and so it was like a full circle moment and that's why I wanted to introduce this again in a Best of Beauty we just celebrated the two year anniversary of the Neogen Joan Day and Night Cream. And I know a lot of you guys are sick and tired of me mentioning this product, but I truly believe in it. I have dry acne prone skin and this is a very gentle cream that will keep the skin moisturized. Uh, the day cream has green tea and vitamin C, night cream has lavender and vitamin E. So I wanted to let you know that tomorrow on Amazon, we will be selling these creams for $12.
That is such a steal. So if you have been eyeing this cream and you still haven't tried it, definitely check out that deal because it is going to be worth it. And I think you should treat yourself to some good skincare. And I will give you guys a little teaser that we are working on the 2.0. So stay tuned. We will be announcing it very, very soon. But the Joan Day and Night Cream, you guys will be seeing a lot more of in the upcoming months. We have another Fenty Skin product and here I have the Hydrovisor and this is also a two-in-one. It's a moisturizer and SPF. Shoutouts to the queen Rihanna for stressing two of the most important steps in skincare personally for me, um, which is moisture and SPF. Moisture because for a person who have dry and acne prone skin, you want to keep the skin moisturized so that the dead skin cells won't clog up the pores to break you out even more. And SPF because you got to protect your skin from the sun. And I actually learned the importance of SPF when I moved to Korea, which was seven years ago. I know it's better late than never, but I am not proud of it because I'm from California where it's always sunny. And so for 20 years, I barely wore sunscreen until I moved to Korea. So sunscreen, I love how she is stressing SPF. This is a lightweight moisturizer that keeps my skin hydrated and moisturized and it's so good under makeup. You know what I like about this SPF? What? It provides an instant glow. It's like very glowy. Paro. That's it. And then makeup is very So like I get why like Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty. Whoa, it applies so well. It's like becoming one with my face. What the? <laughs> That's good. What? Right? I thought it because it felt sticky, I thought like the makeup would kind of like slide off. It like grips it. Yeah. yeah. It grips your makeup. Whoa. My makeup looks so flawless, glowy, and natural. I just love how this product mixes with any of my foundations. And so Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty, keep doing what you do. I absolutely love it. If you have been watching my videos for some time now, you all probably have heard of Troy Adeke. Troy Adeke is my emergency go-to brand, especially when I have breakouts. And the Accent line is actually one of my favorites because it's for acne sensitive people and that's why it's called Accent. And this year they released the SOS sleeping mask, which is like my go-to sleeping mask. And I probably went through like five or six of these this year. This is formulated with birch sap and five types of hyaluronic acid. So it's going to keep the skin moisturized and looking healthy. I love using this when my skin is looking red or when I feel breakouts arising. I'm very generous with how much I apply this. Um, at night, I'm very generous, but during the day I apply a very thin layer because this also applies, uh, mixes well with my foundation. But yes, I love the results and uh, I just don't know what else to say about it. It is the perfect SOS sleeping mask. The final skincare that I want to talk about is Zitstika Skin Discipline. This is a supplement and the very first supplement that I am introducing on A Best of Beauty. This is formulated with vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and fatty acids. So it's supposed to be good for the inner health. I didn't really take vitamins up until this year, but now that I am nearing the end of my 20s, I do wanna take better care of my health. Um, and this is very easy to take. All you need is one capsule in the morning. And my skin has never looked this good since moving to Korea. And definitely I've done like treatments, I care about skincare, and I would have to say that this product might've helped clear it up as well. So um, shout outs to the Zitstika. Moving on to makeup, I did mention that I barely wore makeup this year because of the masks, but when I did need the extra coverage, my go-to foundation was the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation. This is my go-to foundation stick and I love it. It's vegan, it's lightweight, it has great coverage. Very easy to use. 
I love this foundation, I love this brand, and that's all I have to say. Uh, moving on to the next product. Um, I know Korean Beauty is all about that glowy, dewy, honey finish, but the American in me loves a good matte finish. And this powder right here from Laura Mercier is my absolute favorite. And I actually finished using one, and so I was trying out other loose powders, but it's really not the same. This is the best personally for me because I love how it's lightweight and it blends so effortlessly. Um, powder was very important this year because when you're wearing masks, um, when you use liquid foundation, it's a lot easier for the foundation to transfer onto the mask, but when you set it with powder, it kind of stays put. Even though it does transfer, the powder is very important in making sure your makeup stays put. So powder, very important, and this is my favorite. The final makeup product is this blush from 3CE. This is the 3CE blush blusher in Double Think. I love how it gives this blurred effect. It's very smooth and layerable. I love this peachy coral pink color for my skin. And yeah, I just love using this. On days when I didn't wear foundation, I would still use this blush because I wanted it to look like I had a full face of makeup. And so this was a great uh, product for that. Moving on to the beauty products in my bag. I do carry around some products to touch up throughout the day. And first, let's start with a hand sanitizer. And this one is from Tamburins. And hand sanitizer is very important this year because of COVID, a lot of people have been carrying around mini hand sanitizers. And this one was my favorite because I love the way it smells. It's sandalwood. You all know I love my woody scents and Tamburins is one of my favorite brands. It's such a beautiful brand and uh, it's very important when I am out and about because it makes me want to use a hand sanitizer, which is very important right now. Next, I have Fenty Beauty's Invisim Matte Blotting Powder. This is my go-to pressed powder. I like using loose powder in the morning when I'm home doing my makeup, but throughout the day, I do like to take around a blotting powder to control the shine and mattify throughout the day, and this has just been amazing. Hair roller, but I'll talk about hair care later. Um, we have lip products. and I do have a lot of Chanel lip products because they sent a bunch over to me, um, but my all-time favorite this year would probably be the tinted lip balm because when you're wearing masks, I don't want to wear a red lip because it's gonna get all over my mask and when it transfers onto my mask, um, I would have like red lipstick like around my mouth and it was just not attractive. So uh, tinted lip balms were my go-to because they're great at keeping my lips moisturized and it adds a natural tint to the lips. So this one from Chanel was my favorite. Usually high-end lip balms have this like fragrance, but this one, not so much, like not at all actually. So this lip balm was my favorite. And then I have another um, Hourglass Vanish foundation stick here for touch-ups. And for perfume, we have this one from, I don't know how to say it, Maison Louis Marie in number four. And I got this as a birthday gift, so it is a recent favorite. But before, I used to carry around perfume samples in my bag, and I still do, um, but this is just like a great way to treat yourself to like a perfume oil. It smells so good. If you know me, I love my Lolabo Centaur 33 because of the sandalwood scent, and this has the sandalwood scent, and it is not as expensive as the Lolabo Centaur 33. So if you're into woody scents, I recommend checking this one out. Speaking of scents, the perfume of the year would probably be Viretto's Slow Dance. Um, a lot of you guys might be shocked because it's not Le Labo, but there is a story to this. Um, in New York, there's this ongoing meme about how everyone smells like Le Labo Centaur 33. And so 
for my New York trip earlier this year, I wanted to take a different perfume so that I wouldn't be basic. And La Labo Centel 33 is not basic in Korea, so I still use it daily. But there's a funny story because Slow Dance really reminds me of New York now because it was the last international trip I took before the pandemic. And it has this very sweet, powerful scent to it. I'm terrible at describing scents, so I'll include the keynotes here, um, but it's just so nostalgic to me. And who would have known that that would have been the last trip before not being able to leave the country. So um, Slow Dance, I give a lot of credit to for reminding me of New York. For body care, I have two that I want to talk about. And first we have the Aromatica Organic Aloe Vera Gel. I purchased this after my trip to Jeju because I got mad sunburnt and this was the perfect way to cool and soothe my skin. And after using it for like three days, I noticed like results right away. So it definitely helped calm down my sunburn. And I really like this brand Aromatica because they have a lot of organic products, vegan products that you can choose from so if you are shopping in Korea and you want something clean check out Aromatica they have it at Olive Young and so I give this product a shout out because that sunburn was so painful and this is what healed it Next, we have the body wash from Necessaire and it's still in this box because one, I just emptied it so it's now in my empties bag and two, um, I wanted to show off this box because they are an eco-friendly brand so they use recyclable materials for their boxes as well as their bottles. So they're all about caring for the planet as well as your body. This is a multivitamin body wash so there's vitamins, omegas, antioxidants and this one is in sandalwood which is my favorite fragrant, um, but it is available in eucalyptus as well as no fragrance. So I highly want to recommend Necessaire because it's such a thoughtful brand and I really respect that. So this body wash was my favorite. Hair care is just as important as skincare. This is something that I have mentioned before on my channels and I really am proud of how my hair is. Like every time I go get my hair done, um, different like hairstylists would compliment how my hair looks a lot healthier for a person who probably bleached it like 20 times. And because I go in to get my roots done and dye or color my hair like on a monthly basis, um, it's very important to use the good hair care products so that it won't damage it and tangle it. So I want to first talk about the Troy Adake Axen RX2 Scalp Cleanser and this is a great shampoo for soothing the redness and soothing your scalp. This is formulated to help with redness and hair growth. If you have oily roots, sensitive scalps, and even pimples on your scalp, this is something that I want to recommend you checking out. This is actually the shampoo that I recommend all my friends who bleach their hair and those who have like scalp problems. This is my go-to. So wanted to give this product a shout out. And then finally, I wanna talk about Oribe's Gold Lush Transformative Mask. I learned about this brand a couple of years ago because a bunch of YouTubers were talking about it and I really didn't get the hype for it, like how good can it be? But I saw this at the Bunda shop in Cheongdamdong and I decided to purchase it to test it out for myself. And I will say, I get why people rave about the scent. It just smells so, so good. And I love massaging this around my hair and my hair feels so silky smooth afterwards. So I kind of get the hype for it now. Um, it is pricey, but compared to the Olaplex conditioners that I tried before, I would say that this is a little more affordable. But again, I like to invest in hair care because I have one head of hair and I wanna treat it right. And finally, let's talk about nails. Right now, they're not in the best condition, but I wanted to shout out my favorite design that I did, which are the lipstick shape cloud nails. They were my favorite in the summer and um, it made me really happy because during the summer, it rained so much. Like it rained every day for like a month and a half. So it was always gloomy. But whenever I looked at my nails, I felt happy. And so that was my favorite nail design. And I guess I want to talk about my manicure vlog series. A lot of you guys seem to be enjoying that. And I'm very um, happy you guys are enjoying it because there should be no stereotypes 
types and we gotta break that so I'm gonna introduce to you guys more of my male friends and they will get their nails done with me so stay tuned for the next Joan Day vlog actually all right so that's it for my 20 favorites I hope you guys found this video helpful I know it's different from the usual Joan Day vlogs but I did want to share my 20 favorites because a lot of you guys have asked for the best of beauty if you're interested in any of the products that I mentioned check the description box for links and I will see you guys in the next vlog bye have a Joan Day My brothers, when day we gon' make it? Make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous.